Hello, viewers. This is Itiza, a personal tutor working in London Chakchil College. So um, let me get started with the Moodle. Uh, I'm here to show how Moodle works and turn it in words. At first, we're going to start with the Moodle. So exactly, Moodle is a learning platform. It is a course management system, the software package designed to help educators create effective online resources. So how we provide support in Moodle for our student, let's get started with that. At first, this is the Moodle uh, website. This is the uh, front page of the Moodle. When we provide all the details to the students for our Moodle, this is the thing. So the, our exact ad address is moodle.londonchurchillcollege.ac.uk slash Moodle. So at first, we recommend our student to go to the login first. And let me say one thing first. So when a student is registered uh, to study with London Churchill College in h &D programs, they don't need to register for themselves. Uh, uh, they have been registered, uh, they will be registered automatically by our system administrators. And they, uh, they, will, ha they will have their email or login details, login credentials to their email. And with their login credentials, they can log in into Moodle account. So how may they start? First, they can start with the login. In the login, they'll have their username and they'll have their password. I'm using my username and password for uh, this video, but uh, for the students, they'll have their own username and own password. So when the student press login, usually the interface is same, always like this for uh, tutors and students alike. And in the left hand side, you can see the uh, college logo and the start options. And what are the options available under the start button? You can see that dashboard, profile, trades, messages, preference, and logout. In the right hand side, on the top corner, you can see there's an option for language setting options for night mode or day mode and user interfaces, options for notifications, message services, settings, and account options. Students can see their account, the same options which are situated here, they can see the same options here. Now, the most important thing is in the mod Moodle, when a student log into the Moodle, is the settings options. So this is called the navigation pane, actually. And under the navigation pane, there are a few options called dashboard, site home, calendar, private files, and some code words. These code words are important, and we'll speak about them later on in the video. At first, a student should proceed to the site home first. Into the site home, the courses will be available. And the course introductions are like academic year 2023, 2024, online library, student area, miscellaneous, academic year 2022, 2023. This page is same for all tutors and student alike. So what would I do first as a student? I would go uh, um, which session or which semester I'm, uh, I'm studying right now. So if I study, so for example, September, from the September, a student, year, a student starts a new year, so we'll go to academic year 2023, 2024, if I'm a new student. And there I'll choose September because September is the starting month for this session. And if I'm a student of a business, I'll go straight to the business. If I'm a student of the hospitality, I'll go directly into the hospitality management. So I'll choose business from there. From there, there are plenty of groups specified in there. So when the students are enrolled, they are specified in a certain group. So, and I'll be notified that which group, if I'm a student, I'll be notified that which group I'm in. So for example, I'm in group C and D. If I go to group C and D, there are the subjects showing which I'm going to study for the semester. So for this semester, I'll be studying business strategy, launching a new ventures, research projects. These are the units, all module guided by Pearson uh, um, and London Churchill College are providing these courses. So 
uh, and uh, you can see here, these are locked. These are locked profile. So how to unlock them? To unlock them, what you can do, get inside the course first. And you can you can see that to unlock it, you need an enrollment key. So where can I find an, an, an enrollment key? Enrollment keys are up here, right there. You can see the directory is specified here, which is dashboard, courses, academic year, September, HND in business, group C and D, this code, enroll me, and enrollment options. So I told you about this code. Usually, when you press this code or when you copy this code to put in in enrollment key window, in the setting option, these codes are recorded. Hence, when you open a setting option, you can see this code written here. But uh, we don't need to touch this code right there. Only thing we need to do when you see a locked course, we need to go into the course and find the enrollment key, copy that enrollment key and paste it in the blank option, and then press in enroll me. As you can see, you're directly enrolled into the course. So this course, uh, this session started in uh, September 11th. So it's been uh, four weeks. So we can see all the weeks options in here. And the study resources are there. So let me choose one module introduction and assignment. So I can get to module information there, Harvard referencing assignments option there. So let me go to the module information. In the module information, I can find the handbook for the this, uh, this particular course called business strategy. If I want to download the handbook, I simply click to the handbook and it will be downloaded in my download option. I can download in the safe uh, folder in my computer. If I go back and search for more options like Harvard referencing, how can I reference my article or my um, assignment? All the guidelines being here. So Harvard referencing, if I click in Harvard referencing, I can find the LCC Harvard referencing system. And if I go back, I can find the assignment option here. So if I click in assignment option, I can find the assignment brief is sitting here. So I can click the assignment brief and that particular assignment brief will be downloaded right away and it will be saved in my hard disk. Now for the other options, say for example, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, these are the lecture and these are the course resources uploaded by the tutor. Student can access them anytime if they have the uh, Moodle account and if they have unlocked the Moodle, their Moodle account. So for example, if I want to go and um, study the lecture, uh, first week lecture, I can go, I can tap in introduction to business strategy lecture one, I can click into the folder. Right away, I can find the PowerPoint version of the lecture. I can download it right away and see it for myself. And these names are also set by the tutors so that a student can find it easily and use them for their further studies. Now, usually this is the main thing Moodles are mainly used for uh, to access the study resources. Another interesting thing students can do with their Moodle account. And that thing is access to the Biblio, which is an online library, a library platform. So to access the Biblio or online library platform, student, a student have to go, has, uh, has to go to the option again, and to the site home menu, from the site home menu, they can go to the online library written here. If they go to online library, they can find they're showing Biblio. Click the file, they'll have the tab for Biblio. In the book a depository system, they can find the Biblio folder.
click in the Biblio folder and you can find the books you need to complete your Moodle, complete your course. From there, you can take references. You can read the whole book or you can use to study and take out uh, some quotation for paraphrasing. So there are plenty of resources for students to study. They can study from there. And after that, they can get back to the dashboard. So this is the main dashboard. If you go to the site home, there are a few other options. One is student area. That's the file for student representation. And all the student representative promotional activities are set up here nicely. Student can access them as well as tutors can access them. That's all for the Moodle account, and I'm going to show Tantin next.